Hey everybody, welcome. Episode 82 of the Nooner. I'm going to tweet this out. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for being here. Well, what could I do to make more money exercise? Boom. All right. So we got two people who have showed up already. Steven, good to see you, man. Merry Christmas to you. Welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for being here. This is episode 82 of the Nooner. Looks like my guy Nick Organ showed up. Welcome, Nick Organ. Thank you for being here. Welcome. Thank you guys for the favors, the restreams. Yeah, that's right. Episode 82 of the Nooner. We're going to be dropping into episode 100 very soon. Uh, so a couple things. Hey, would you like to be a guest on the Nooner? I'm open to that. Uh, so a couple things. Hey, would you like to be a guest on the Nooner? I'm open to that. Um, what is the Nooner? Very simply, this is uh, me coming in 12 o'clock noon Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday, and I'm going to drop a little noontime nugget about sales, business, and or life. Uh, on the Nooners on Wednesdays, what I like to do is I like to go random uh, and find something of value or interest of grants. I usually pick it very randomly, very quickly. Uh, could be from a book, could be from uh, an article he wrote, um, but today we're going to be talking about grants. What could I do to make more money? Exercise, which uh, came out in an article on LinkedIn. If you haven't read it, um, I can send you the link. Send an email out to david at grantcardone.com and I'll send it to you. But we're going to go over the article. We're going to go over the questions. Uh, and we're going to really work it out. So thank you guys for being here. If you're catching this on YouTube, um, the link to the article is going to be right below, as well as uh, a couple of the links that you might find valuable and interesting. So let me just introduce myself to you guys first and foremost. Uh, my name is David Bradley. I'm the host of The Nooner. Um, I'm also a sales and marketing manager with Grant Cardone. been doing that uh, since March of 2011. Grant's technology took me from barely surviving in sales uh, to thriving in it. So when I got an opportunity to give that to somebody else, to share with people things that help me become uh, successful, man, I'm all in, okay? Uh, success is evolutionary, right? So uh, my current level of success then is very different than what I view success is now. So I'm constantly pushing to be better today than I was yesterday. How about you? Now, what we do in our company, Cardo Training Technologies, is we work with uh, companies of all shapes and sizes and individuals. So this is, you know, Small group, one, two guys, maybe just one guy, all the way up to Fortune 500 companies. We help find and handle missed opportunity that typically results in a production increase somewhere between 15 and 30%. So if that's you, if you've got a business, small business, large business, and you're like, man, how do I get more? How can I, how can I help my people uh, produce more for me? Everybody wins on that, right? So if that's something... If you got opportunity, if there's more out there, I can help you get it. 75% of what we do here, though, is 100% free. So we'll start there. You can um, email me, david at grantcardone.com. You can call me direct, 310-777-0352, uh, and I'm happy to help. Two other things on me, though, is I'm the author of a book called How to Stop Smoking Without Killing Anyone. I smoked cigarettes for, uh, you know, 15 years, roughly. Couldn't quit. Tried many times. Uh, but I found a way to stop. Now, there's a big difference between quitting and stopping, and that's what I talk about in my book. Uh, a lot of it has to do with getting your mind right so that you can actually kick the habit before the habit leads to you kicking the bucket. Now, Christmas is two days away. People are going to be making New Year's resolutions that they're going to break uh, in a week or so. So, my book will help people keep their resolution. Uh, you can get more information on that if you go to stopdon'tquit.com. You can also um, message or email me for that as well. Third thing, founder of a hashtag, Rich Man's Gym. Did you just see the mental flatulence that just happened right there? I was like, where am I? What's going on? Hello? Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Yeah. Third thing, founder of a hashtag, Rich Man's Gym. So if you search that hashtag, 
Uh, that is about home-based strength and conditioning for body, mind, and spirit. So you'll find some pretty cool posts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to get a little sense of that. But that's my next project. That's the next book I'm working on. Um, you know, I got a home gym in the garage. <clears throat> Minimal equipment. And uh, it's all about getting in the best shape of your life from home, the local park, um, without having to go to any kind of cookie-cutter gym. So those are the three things. Now today, uh, what could I do to make more money exercise? Now, this is an article Grant put up on LinkedIn. I've got the article right here uh, with me. So Grant's going to help me through it. Uh, I've read it twice. And I got some notes here, took down some interesting things. And we're going to sort of just break the article down. If you just search what could I do to make more money, if you're on a computer right now and you're watching along, maybe crack open a separate tab, search the article. It's up on LinkedIn. If you've read it already... If you've done the exercise already, would love some feedback from you as to how it's helped you already. Um, if you're digging through it now and you've got some questions, you need clarity on something that you're seeing, this would be a great opportunity to message me down below, throw out a comment, tip, suggestion, whatever it may be. So, but let's get into it, okay? This, the, the article starts out where Grant quite literally, I forgot something. Happy Festivus, everybody. Seinfeld fans, you get it? The rest of you? Sorry. Okay, anyway, uh, what can I do to make more money? So if the article starts out with Grant literally cracking open uh, a poll he did on Twitter. And I found some very interesting things about that. So the first question that you want to start asking yourself, the first question that he asks in the article, how much additional income could you have made in 2015? So this can be a tough question. This could be a challenging question. So he went out and he threw it up on Twitter just to see what kind of response shows up. What I thought was interesting about the responses, and I'm, I'm going to give you. So there was uh, 351 people responded over a 24-hour period. Zero was not the option. The four options you could have had. So to answer the if you're going to do this yourself, if you haven't seen the poll, how much additional income, additional money could I have made in 2015? Was it between 10,000 and 25,000? Was it between 25,000 and 50? Was it between 50 and 100? Or was it over 100? Now, the responses that came in were very, very interesting. 35% said 100K or more. Another 35% said 10,000 to 25. So it covers both ends, the most spectrum and then also the bottom of the spectrum. Okay. In the middle, we had 25 to 50,000, and then uh, up top was 50 to 100K. So 48% of the people that responded felt like I could have made more than 50, uh, an extra 50 grand or more. That's almost half. So that's interesting. So the question is, so the key words, the, 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 the two takeaways that I got from the article, two words stuck out for me opportunity, possibility. So the purpose of these questions that I'm going to give you in a second is quite literally about how do I see opportunity, more opportunity? How do I see more possibility? Okay. Just by asking yourself the question, how much additional money could I have made in 2015? How much additional income could I have produced? How much additional revenue? Just that alone starts to get you thinking. But the real challenge is to be able to see it. So um, one of the things that I like to do to exercise my brain, I just started this uh, recently, is I'm, just, I'm playing these little Sudoku puzzles. I got an app for my phone. And I'll try and do one towards the end of the day at night. Um, but, you know, it's interesting what it does for you to be able to see, to see opportunity, to see possibilities, to really dig into, you know, you're trying to find these numbers. And so you're literally looking for an opportunity to drop a number. So it's, it's been helping me open my eyes and focus on targets. So it, it, it's a pretty cool game if you don't play it already. But, you know, if you play games, do make sure that they're games that literally exercise your brain. So, but the two key words, let me just get back to that, opportunity and possibility. So use this exercise to see opportunity and see more of it, to see possibilities in the marketplace, in your surrounding okay so 
here's the questions. Use these to think big. So here's what I want before I give you the questions. I forgot this part. Think about something you're after. What's a target? What's a goal? What's a big dream that you have? Whatever, the first thing that just popped in your head. Okay? Now multiply that, whatever it is, by 10. Okay, you got it? Okay, now multiply that by 10. A little scary? A little exciting? You think about that? Okay, now, how do I see it? Can you see it? Is it real? Is it possible? Okay, there's opportunity for it, right? Two thirds of all self made of, of, of the millionaires out there right now, self made. Okay, so the possibilities, endless. They're there. You have to see it though. Okay, that's the purpose of the exercise. Okay, so here's your four questions. What else could I have added? Now, as you're going through these questions, what else could I have added? So just start brainstorming, right? What else could I have added? Whatever pops into your head, I want you to just start writing it down. So you just grab out a notepad, top of the notepad, what else could I have added? And just start, it doesn't matter whatever comes out, man. Just start jotting stuff down. Right answers, wrong answers, mediocre answers, great answers. Uh, it's, there's no judgment in your answers. It's just about putting stuff out. You don't have to keep it. But don't judge it. Okay? Don't slow down the flow by judging. Make sense? Okay? So these are non judgmental answers. This is about you thinking big, thinking possible. What else could I have added? That's the first question. So just start thinking what else could I have added? What do you mean added? Don't worry about it. Whatever pops in your head, just start jotting it down. What else could I have added? Well, I could have done this, I could have done that, could have added that. Okay, think of some things that you're not doing. That's what you should have added. That's what you could have added. Just start jotting stuff down. It's not a big deal, okay? No judgment. What could I have done more of? Question number two. Hey, Laura, thank you. Appreciate you being here. Merry Christmas to you. Uh, appreciate the favor in the restream. What could I have done more of? Challenging question, okay? But make sure, just again, no judgment. Just start jotting stuff down. Oh, I could have done more of this. I could have done more of that. Like, could I have done more uh, cold calls? Could I have made more warm calls? Could I have put more videos up on YouTube? Could I have done more blogging? What? Could I have just had more volume in general, right? What could I have done more of? Just, just start jotting it down, okay? That's question number two. Question number three, what products or services could I have added? And it doesn't matter if you, okay, retail employee, dude works at Macy's, okay? What products or services could I have added? Start jotting stuff down. Doesn't matter your position in the company, doesn't matter what's going on, just start thinking about that. And if you're thinking about, if you're an hourly employee or something to that effect and you're watching this right now, imagine if you do this exercise and then bring it to management. Hey man, I got all these great ideas. This is what I want to do to create more. This is what I want to do to help our company grow. Right? What products or services could I have added? Everything's a product. If you produce it, consider it a product. If you're an hourly employee, what, what could I do to give, deliver a higher level of service to our customers? People pay more for a good attitude over a great product all day long, or a great attitude over a good product, right? People pay more for a great attitude, period, okay? So what can I do to improve my services, my level of service, okay? If you're an entrepreneur, this question's pretty obvious. What products or services could I have added that would have produced more revenue, more income for our company, okay? So when you do, again, when you're jotting these things down, just start spewing them out. Do a separate sheet of paper for each question. That's what I'd suggest. So, so far, the questions are, what else could I have added? What could I have done more of? Okay. 
Question number three is what products or services could I have added? And then question number four, who could I have gotten with that would have made us money? So yesterday we were talking about reaching out to 10 people in your community that you can connect with. And I challenge you to get that done before Christmas. This question is very similar to that, right? Who could you get in front of that would help you create more income? What relationships can you start building? Okay. And again, no limit. Put down whoever you want. No limit. You want to see somebody that, that, that does this like nuts, is crazy, is uh, check out my guy Warren Cassell. This guy's fearless. He'll reach out to anybody. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. And he's young. He's not even 18 yet. He's out there, man. So that's a good dude to check out. Who could I have gotten with that would have made us money? So the four questions. What could I have added? What could I have done more of? What products or services could I have added? Who could I have gotten with that would have made us more money? Okay. Now, the one thing that Grant throws in in this article, in fact, it's in big bold, right, is that this is an exercise not about cutting expenses. The question, how much additional money could I have made in 2015 does not mean, well, if I had cut this, this, and this, that would have been extra profit. No, no, no. This is about expanding, not contracting. It's not about getting smaller. It's about blowing up, getting bigger, okay? So if you're thinking, how do I get in front of more people? Who could I have connected with that would have gotten me in front of more people? Right? So recently, Grant did a speaking event with uh, Gary Vaynerchuk. So, Grant, so a lot of people went to that thing just to see Gary. A lot of people went to that just to see Grant, okay? Cross-pollination. A lot of Gary fans got exposed to Grant and vice versa. Kind of cool, right? So, who could I have gotten with that would have made us more money? Do you think we made, as a company, Cardone Training Technologies, produce more revenue because Grant and Gary spoke at the same event? Of course. Okay, so remember, this is not an exercise in cutting expenses. This is about blowing up your business. So, how has this worked for Grant in the past? Because this isn't, you know, the first time he's done this exercise. So he did it in 20, at the end of 2014, going in 2015. It resulted in six webinars that he did. How beneficial have those webinars been? Okay. So before in the past, right, what do we have to do? In a big event in a big city and only people in that area or that could get to that could go. Webinar, the whole world can tune in for that deal. Okay. So we're able to impact more people with these webinars. Okay. GCTV, same concept. I'm going to start my own, or Grant. Grant's going to start his own network, television network, where like-minded people, success-minded people, entrepreneurs, professionals, success-oriented people can come and spread that good, positive news instead of all the other crap that's on television. Okay? GrantCardonTV.com. It used to be whatever it takes network, but we weren't getting as much attention with that as we wanted, so we changed the name. That happened last year. 10X Airlines. Grant bought a jet. And in the article on LinkedIn, he attributes this exercise to him making sense of, I need a plane. Okay. So do this exercise. If you've done it already, I'd love some feedback from you. Hold on, we got to get some funk because I'm wrapping this nooner up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No. There we go. Okay, so do the exercise. If you've done it already, I want feedback from you. Tweet it out to me. E email it to me, david at grantcardone.com. My Twitter handle, at David R. Bradley. If you've got a sales team, man, sit down and do this with your group. Brainstorm this sucker out. I promise you, that will make a sales meeting like you wouldn't believe. Okay, if you need help with it, feel free to call me, 310-777-0352. Let me know what you got out of this exercise. Let me know what uh, topics you'd like to have me handle on the Nooner moving forward. Uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. It's Christmas Eve. I'm not sure what we're talking about yet, but we'll be doing something juicy for Christmas Eve. So thank you guys for being here today. We'll see you tomorrow on the Nooner. And be great.
because nothing else pays. <laughs>